I just murdered both of them. I saw the sign on the door that said no cameras, so... Oops. Hello and welcome to another vlog where we are hitting the ground running, doing a deep clean of the kitchen and the bathroom at the house that I'm living in. I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here in Vietnam. I'm living with a Vietnamese family and I connected with them through Workaway so that I could pretty much live with them for free in exchange for doing some work. So for me, my responsibilities are a little bit of chores around the house and helping out with the kids in the evening. This deep clean was not at all an expectation that was set for me. It was just something that I decided I wanted to do for this busy family so that they could come home to a fresh, clean kitchen and bathroom. And for some reason, I just decided to vlog it, even though I didn't really record any kind of introduction. So this is me doing the cleaning. Not really much to explain here. Okay, so finished the sink area and the countertops. I did a little um, ant spraying and then I'm gonna move on to the area behind the camera, which is like the um, bathroom sink type of area. But first, I am feeding the dog really quick and then I realized there were actually quite a few things that I didn't finish in the kitchen before moving on to the bathroom. But to get back to it, I used the platform Workaway which is an app to connect people all over the world who can host guests and the guests are usually expected to do some type of part-time work. With this family, I work with them in the evenings and I have dinner with them every evening and it's a great way to experience a local family and the traditional culture. It allowed me to travel in a much more affordable way because I didn't have to pay for accommodations. Um, now I'm cleaning the bathroom and I'm actually going to be quiet because I feel like there's a little bit of ASMR going on. Listen, I know it looks like toilet bowl cleaner, but it has pictures of the sink, the floor, the toilet, and something else on it. So I think I can use it for all bathroom surfaces. honestly so nice to have these drains in the floor because you could just soak everything and it just will go down the drain and dry. I'm feeling kind of bad. Um, so I sprayed for ants and you know like the little lizards. Oh gosh. They, they're pests. And they really don't belong in the house, but I think I killed them. Uh, well, I know I killed them because there, there was two of them. I thought it was just one. I saw one when I was like finishing cleaning the floor and he was like trying to escape all the water that I was like splattering everywhere. And I was like, oh, it's okay, little guy. I'll just pretend like I don't see you and leave you alone because, ugh, ugh, I don't know. Heebie-jeebies. But um, then I just see him like sprawled out in the middle of the floor, can barely move, and I'm pretty sure I poisoned him. And then I like <laughs> brought up all the courage I had to scoop him onto a lid, a Tupperware lid, and fling him outside. And then I come in and I see another one. So there was two of them. And I just, I just murdered both of them. The other one I, I also had to fling outside. And even though they were pretty much dead, it still freaked me out. Um, and I'm, and I'm just feeling kind of bad now. And 
I was gonna cook some lunch and it just kind of killed the vibe. Oh my god, this. I am in the process of trying to train my hair and I'm not enjoying the experience. Um, it's not cute that I don't feel good about it. It's very, very greasy, but it's, it's, for, it's for a better end goal, a long-term goal. Anyway, I'm gonna fry up the leftover rice and some eggs and then I'll go out and run my errands. Before coming to Vietnam, I didn't have many opportunities to cook because everywhere that I stayed in Thailand didn't have a kitchen or anything like that. So once I was in a house in Vietnam in one place, I was really excited to be able to go to the grocery store and cook some of my favorite meals. So my own little random, probably not Uncle Roger approved fried rice is what I'm making today for lunch with just some of the leftover stuff that I have. And I always like to cook with a lot of butter because I would argue that it's a lot healthier than most cooking oils and it is super delicious. It makes everything better. Butter makes everything better. So if you're not cooking with it already, try it. It's not bad for you. Then I'm gonna scramble in my eggs. I don't like to cook the eggs beforehand because I feel like then they get too dried out. So I just kind of cook them on one side of the pan. And then when they're like almost cooked, I will mix them in with everything, let it just combine together and then pretty much take it off the heat and then it's ready to serve. I do a ton of variations of this meal. I'll throw pretty much anything into a fried rice meal. This one was just super simple. I quickly ripped up a green onion to put on top. Much better. Add a little color. Mm. Pretty basic, but this is what I had left in the fridge, so. So I washed my face and got changed. Um, I have a few things that I need to pick up because I am going to be making dinner tonight. This is not the usual routine, um, but both the mother and the father of the family that I'm living with, they're both working until about dinner time. And so I had like a pasta dish that I thought would be good to make. So I offered to cook today and they we're very appreciative of my offer. And so, yeah, so I'll be cooking. I already have picked up a few of the items because I knew I was gonna make this dish eventually. Um, but today I still need to grab, let's see, an onion, <laughs> an onion, uh, an onion, some milk. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find heavy cream. So I think milk will just have to do instead. That's fine. Um, some mushroom and the actual pasta itself. It's funny, uh, they have like the Barilla pasta brand here and this is usually one of the cheaper ones at home aside from like a store brand. It's like probably a dollar-ish usually for the package and it's like usually about three bucks here. Um, which I mean still is not super expensive, but for what it is, it's pretty pricey. And then I also re just remembered, I do have to pick up the meat. I usually use Italian sausage. They are, Italian sausage will not be an option here. So I think I'm just gonna get regular ground pork and maybe add a little bit of extra seasoning to give it some flavor, but also the pasta sauce with the mushroom and the onion and the cream and the Parmesan still has a lot of flavor all on its own. So I think that'll be fine. Just finishing up the last of this laundry here. Before I go out. Daily. It 
was only after I recorded in the store that I saw the sign on the door that said no cameras, so... Oops. Here I am prepping the ingredients. Terrible transition with the onion, but that's okay. Cutting everything up. For this recipe, there were actually a few modifications that I had to make because not everything that I would normally make it with was available in the grocery store. That or it was just really expensive. So a few adjustments, but the original recipe was inspired by Sip and Feast on YouTube. His video is called The Most Underrated Pasta Ever. It is a fantastic dish. The way that he makes it is lovely. That's how I usually make it at home. And now I don't even really follow the recipe. I just know how to do it. And it is super good. So if you ever want to check that out, I highly recommend it. Starting with the meat and then the onions and then eventually the mushrooms. I'm just giving everything time to cook down a little bit. Putting the pork in first allows it to get a little bit more color and then the onions take much longer to cook than the mushrooms so I definitely give the onions a lot more time before adding the mushrooms in. Then I add the wine in to cook it down. Normally I would prefer to do this recipe in some type of cast iron or stainless steel pan so that I would get a little bit of fond or crust from the meat on the pan and then cooking with that wine will lift that out and bring in tons of, tons of flavor into the dish. I had to do a combination of milk and heavy cream because I wasn't able to get the volume of heavy cream at a reasonable price that I needed. So just a simple modification made. And I'm taking it off the heat so that it doesn't heat up too quickly because this induction stove was crazy. Then I have a little assistant who comes in and helps me. And I learned late in life, but the key to making good pasta is letting the pasta finish its last little couple minutes of cooking in the sauce. So you just scoop it directly from the boiling water, wet into the pasta, and then also if you need to add a little bit more volume, thicken up your sauce, you can add some of that pasta water in. There's also no ending to this video, so you'll see the food, which is a lot more delicious in real life than it looks, but that's it. And then for the rest of the evening, I'll hang out with the family and have a good time. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.